Today is the day that I start working on my 2014 Nissan LEAF in the aim of adding an extended range uh, battery pack comprised of 18650 batteries. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, remove the main disconnect which is located in the back of the car. So here's the plate. You need, this is loose right now, but you need to pry out the back part here. There's two clips holding it. And there are three bolts that you need to remove. I believe they're 10 millimeter. I've already unscrewed them. So I'll just take them out. And there's the main disconnect. So this, uh, what this does is that it uh, breaks the the leaf pack in two halves. So it's located in the middle of the pack. And once you remove that, it basically kills uh, all ability of power to come out of the, uh, the, the pack. Now, when the car is off, the relays are actually located in the battery pack. So technically, there is no power coming out of the, the battery pack as long as the car is off. But uh, it's just a safety feature. So let's remove this. So you just turn this up as you pull up and then you have to press this tab here. There you go. So that's the main disconnect and now that it has been removed I can uh, go under the car and disconnect the cable. Okay here I am under the car. This is the main cable coming from the battery pack and going to the front of the car, so that's where the inverter and uh, charger are located. Uh, to get access to here, it's just one plate you need to take off a plastic plate. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a couple of screws and a couple of clips, which are easy to remove. The tricky part is getting that un undone. You have to squeeze on the side here, pull it out, and then you have to push here to get it all the way. So it's already undone here, so I can just take it off. So there's the plug or the connector that goes to the front of the car, and this is the battery pack. So, what we need to do here is figure out a way to tap into here. Now, I've seen that on the internet where they take this cable apart, strip the wire, there's two cables here, and then uh, simply tap off of there. Uh, I don't want to do that because the car is still under warranty, and uh, I don't think it's a very good modification to do. So I've decided to do it a different way. Okay, so here's the, the cable that uh, comes, goes to the front of the car, to the inverter or all the components in the front, and goes to the battery pack. Now, I've already cut this off. So this is not the one that came from the car. This is one that I bought off of eBay. Uh, some gentleman had bought a scrapped Nissan Leaf took the batteries out of it for a um, conversion. Uh, a pickup that he had converted was running on lead acid and upgraded to lithium using the batteries out of a leaf. And then he was parting off the rest of the car. So I bought the, the cable and I bought the part that uh, is on the battery pack. So this is the, I guess the receptacle socket. And this would be the plug side, which I've already cut off. Oh, so here is the plug side. So this, as you can see, I've already modified it, but uh, this plugs into here normally on the car. Okay. But as you can see here, so this is the plug. 
this is the part that used to be on here. So this was like this. Okay. So I cut it off. And what I did is I got these compression connectors. I, uh, I left it a little, just enough here, stripped it off, and then put a compression connector on it here. And on this side, these are the pins that uh, would come into here. See, they're not there. So this can now simply slip onto here. And what you get is that you get a splice. So this is the part that plugs into the battery. And this is the part that will that I will reconnect from the car. So without making any cuts or any modifications to the car itself, uh, I can plug that cable from the car into here, plug this into the battery pack, and I've got a straight through connection. So the current can go from the battery pack to the car as it used to without Again, not making modifications. So, uh, ideally, I would have bought a T compression connectors, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get them. I went to electronics, uh, electrical supply store. They called the company with Thomas and Betts that make these connectors, and uh, never got back to them. And I was tired of waiting, so I just bought a straight-through compression com connector, and I drilled a hole to put in these wires. So these are four gauge welding wires um, that I will wire to the back of the car and to be able to bring to, to connect the my secondary battery pack so as you can see this is not safe there's no insulation on here and uh, so this has to be insulated very well so what I'm, what I'm going to do is put this back together and I'm going to use plastic tip I'm going to spray it and hopefully put um, at least an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm gonna put many, many coats on here over and over and over to try and uh, make that as safe as possible. The wires are gonna go to the back. Uh, there's actually, I've tried it, I've tested. There's uh, enough room between the battery pack and the body of the car to pass these cables through. So, okay, so in case you're wondering here, I've already put it back together. So this will be my splice. To take those pins out, there's little plastic tabs. I don't know if you can see that down there. On both sides. So you just take a screwdriver and you pull on them. And you can simply remove these pins. So these pins originally were about this long and they had a bolt connector on it to connect, I guess, to inside of the battery pack. So I simply cut it shorter. These are, these are copper pins. Um, which are tinned and so I've you can see it's, it's kind of messy I tried to solder it the best I could but uh, the solder tend to, to dribble out because I was putting as much as I solder as I can but it seems to be a good connection and everything's solid so hopefully this this will do the job so you can see it's, it's together and now I'll start uh, plasti dipping this as much as I can and then we'll put it back on the car.